my name is Alex Carlucci with GustinShow.com. I'm here to talk to you about escrows. What is escrows? Escrow accounts. So when you buy a house and you put less than 20% down, you're going to have to, you're going to be required by by law to get an escrow account. And if you go FHA, you're always going to have an escrow account. So what an escrow account is is taxes are due twice a year, once a year, four times a year. It's all different from state to state, county to county. Here in Illinois, they're due twice a year, and they're different due dates for each county. Well, actually, six counties are the same, or ten counties are the same, and one county is different. So, there's different due dates for escrows. So, if your escrow, if your tax bills are due, let's make it simple: January first and July first. So that they they split the bill in two for let's just make it easy. They split the bill in two, and half it's paid January first, half it's paid July first. If you were to close on May 15th, your first mortgage payment would be due July 1st, which means you have a mortgage payment, or you have a tax bill due payment on that date. Now, and sometimes it gets real confusing, sometimes the seller pays that, and sometimes they make you hold the escrow account, and they make you pay it out of your escrow on that due date. So, escrow's accounts are designed to be set up to have money in based on the due date of your tax bill. So. Let's make it a little more simple. If you're if you close in April and your and your six month due date is in July, they're going to make you hold enough money to pay that July first because your first mortgage payment will be June. They always want a two month cushion, so they're going to hold at least six for that July payment. You're, they're going to collect one for June on your first payment, so they're probably going to hold another another one. So they're going to hold one plus the. Six is seven, so they're going to hold seven. So you close April fifteenth. They're going to hold seven months taxes in escrow account. Your first payments be June. Now you're going to have eight. Your next payments could be July. Now they're going to take six out for your tax bill, and now you'll have three because you paid one. You, you just pay another July payment. So that's kind of how they want to have it. So escrow accounts are set up based on the due dates. Now if you close, if you close July first, let's say you close July second and your first payment due date is September, they're going to have to do the math on when January 1st comes along, how many how many months they're going to have to hold. I'm going to guess it's probably three. So that you, if you have, by come January, they're going to want to have at least six to pay January and at least a two-month cushion, sometimes a three-month cushion. So all, it's all up to the title company and the bank how much what they want you to hold as a cushion, but they have to make sure that you have enough for the next due date. And it's always a mathematical formula. So an escrow account is set up for you to get your taxes paid by the bank from the escrow account. So they don't want you responsible for paying your own taxes. So if you put down less than 20% down, they feel like you're a risk and they don't want you to have a big bill due twice a year and then some, something you go belly up and you can't pay that huge bill or you didn't budget for it. And so therefore, if you have a lot of equity, they let you waive that right to create an escrow account because you're not much of a risk because they foreclose on you. They, can, they have a lot of equity to lean on. So if you put 20% down on a conventional loan, you don't have to pay the escrow account. and You don't have to put money in an escrow account. You can pay your own tax bill. Now, the only advantage of doing that is that you will get uh, your own money to get to hold it for longer and you maybe you can invest it making 10% interest rate. Now if you're a really good money manager then you want to do that but not a lot of people I know make money in the stock market so you really have to really beat the system um, to make it worth it because I think the escrow accounts do pay a small fee for holding the money. It's uh, half a point interest or something like that. So you do, get, you do get a little bit of money for that. Now the downside is that you have to pay a little bit higher of a rate. Now it's not necessarily higher of a rate. It's a 0.25 Point two five times the loan amount percent. So if your loan amount is two hundred thousand dollars, it's going to cost you five hundred dollars to to waive the escrow account. So if you don't want to have escrow account, it's going to cost you like five hundred dollars on a two hundred thousand dollar loan. So that's the downside. Plus you have two big bills every month. So I always recommend my clients if. Just get the escrow account. It's much easier to budget for your for your life. And uh, that's the skinny on escrow accounts. If you got any questions, give me a call at 630-915-7550 or go to gustinshow.com. Thank you very much.